Hi everyone, as you can see, I am in the new house. This is gonna be the empty house tour. I am so excited. As you can hear, we have nothing really in here yet, so there's a big loud echo, but let me take you around and show you the place. <laughs> Mama Rai was hiding in the closet because she didn't want to get in the, in the shop. Before I show you the actual home, let me show you all that went down before we could even close this house. And make sure you watch to the end of this video because I have a little surprise, a little giveaway for you guys. First of all, this is a new home, so we had to do a blue tape walk. Now, what this means is for new construction homes, there are often small imperfections or, you know, scratches, dents, things that the construction workers um, were not perfect about during their actual construction. And what we do is go through with blue tape and mark the places that need a little bit of touch up. Number two, we had to wire that down payment and I was actually hoping to do this online, but because it is such a large sum of money, it actually needs to happen in person. So you best believe I showed up at Wells Fargo in my pretty much pajamas and uh, did the thing. And then right before closing, you do a final walkthrough to make sure that all the things that were marked with blue tape were actually addressed. And finally on closing day, good morning. Go, 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 Mickey, go, Mickey. It's currently 6 a.m. As you can see, someone just finished his shift and I have to start mine. So someone's happy and someone's cranky. Today, we close on the house. So I'm officially a homeowner, but Yay. Yay. I'm a hardworking homeowner of Seattle. <laughs> Gotta work my 12 hour shift first so we can pay the bills. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> I am so sleepy. Okay guys, so I'm literally in the bathroom at work. I'm just peeing, first break at 11 a.m. My house just got released to recording, which means the city is like recording all the numbers and then the house is gonna be ours this afternoon. In this segment here, you'll see that Lucky and my parents actually ended up going to the home first and getting it set up for me. Lucky's never had a home with stairs before, so we needed a little bit of an orientation. Starting on the first floor, we have the most beautiful wood finishes. This is my ideal like dream farmhouse wood. And so I'm really, really happy that we ended up with this color. And we have a very big closet. We actually already have some junk in here, but will be great to have our entryway empty because we have lots of storage. And then coming in here, we do have a bedroom. But again, we have a lot of stuff because we are working on installing blinds, but this is bedroom number one. She is super cute and dainty. It's probably going to be the podcast room in addition to um, the guest bedroom for when people do come and stay over. So she's super cute. And of course, on the other side, she does have a nice closet. Fun fact, during our very first walkthrough, one of these closet doors almost fell off and whacked me. But... They are intact now, thank goodness. Oh, I literally can't get over this hardwood floor. She's so cute. Before we go to the bathroom, there is a very, very large storage. And this storage actually extends all the way into like the bottom of the staircase. And actually on the other side, there is storage as well. I won't take you in there. It's not that exciting. There is a crawl space under here. I honestly don't really know what it does, but it exists. And over here, we have bathroom number one. She does come with a bathtub, which is so exciting. I do currently have a bathtub, so I'm finally gonna be able to take bubble baths, which is kind of life-changing. She has this beautiful like gray finish and the same finish that um, is actually in the kitchen, so we love that for us. She's got quartz countertops. I'm literally so stoked, you guys. She does have like the privacy window so that you can't see out or in, which is really freaking great. And yeah. That's that. So the guests downstairs will actually have their own bathroom and their bedroom, which is very, very helpful. Now, not very exciting. Unless you're buying a home, you're gonna know how important this is. We've got a tankless water heater, which uh, is revolutionary, as well as a tiny bit of storage for just a couple items downstairs. And then finally, we're gonna be going up the stairs I could probably look at this hardwood every single day. It is real hardwood, so we do have to be careful because we can't get water on this. Coming up from the stairs to our immediate right, we see our beautiful, beautiful kitchen. She is super dainty, but she is kind of cute. Oh, I'm out of breath from climbing the stairs. I'm definitely gonna have to learn 
how to work out more. <laughs> but so we do have a double door fridge, which I have not had before in my life, which is super exciting. This is what she looks like. There's nothing in here yet, but you can adjust the temperatures up there. It's like touch screen, super high tech. And then downstairs, I think this one, so they're both freezer drawers. We've got an ice maker, which is awesome. And then the one below is more storage. So I kind of like that it's like segregated into two different drawers. We'll probably make it easier to sort things. And then over here in the kitchen, we do have some pretty nice appliances. I love having a white countertop, like that is my actual dream. So I'm very thankful. I did get the finishes that I wanted. And then upstairs here, you will see lots and lots of cabinet space. You're gonna hear my dad moving stuff in the background. Thank you so much, Papa Rai. <laughs> here we have a gas range, which Honestly, homegirl isn't that good of a cook, and so I'm happy to have an electric stove, but Kevin and my family, everyone else is very excited for this gas range. And so it took us a little bit of time to figure out how it actually works, but you turn and then you press, and you gotta press for a little bit to get it to stay. She's still learning how it like fully works. Yeah, she works. Upstairs, of course, the microwave. There's my favorite. This is Kevin's favorite and this is mine. She is kind of a, a skinnier kitchen, if you will, but she's got plenty of room. And then over here, we do have the living room area. It does have a lot of natural light that comes in, which is amazing. So she also has ceiling, these like LED lights, which makes it a lot easier to get good lighting, which I really appreciate. And of course, our real estate agent actually dropped off a money tree for us. You know, in Asian cultures, it's very important to have a money tree in your home to bring in the riches. So she's got that. And then finally, we do have a big pantry on this side. There's kind of already a lot of junk in here, but lots of different shelving to help organize all of the things that we have on this main level. I am envisioning that probably most of the uh, like office furniture is actually also gonna go on this floor because I don't want it in the bedroom and I don't want it downstairs. And then coming up, you'll notice that this has actually transitioned to carpet stairs instead of the hardwood that was downstairs. This is a balloon I got my mama for her breaking her arm. And coming in here, you can hear how out of breath I am from gliding the stairs. Again, super cute. This is the master bedroom. And if you come in here, she does have a nice full-size closet. Within the closet, she does have like a special panel for some sort of special super high-speed internet. I won't worry about it right now. She's got some shelving in there. And then finally, if you come this way, you will find the master bathroom. We are very excited to have two sinks, one for Kevin, one for me. You'll notice that the master bathroom does not have a bathtub. This is a shower. Um, and downstairs we do have a bathtub though, so I will definitely be going downstairs to take a bath occasionally. Again, we do have privacy glass up there, so great for us, great for our neighbors, and She's new construction, so everything is brand new. We don't anticipate, you know, big issues with a home like we would with an older home. So we are very, very fortunate in that department. Now we have obviously been house hunting for a little bit of time now. We actually truthfully started in February of this year, ended up deciding that it wasn't a good fit at that time and then kind of put it off for a little bit. Um, I feel like I haven't really gotten the chance to explain a lot of the reasoning or um, answer probably some of the most common questions that I'm going to get about this house, probably regarding financing. I bet you're really curious about how I paid for this house, how Kevin is related to this house, you know, how all of that worked out. So if you have questions, feel free to leave one in the comments down below and I will compile some of the most commonly asked questions and film a Q&A regarding that. We are very fortunate. This is obviously my very first home and my dream was to own a home before I was 25 like I've always had this number in my head I don't know why and I truthfully did not think it was gonna happen and you know it's it's not a big deal I think everyone has their own timeline and that was just a goal that I had in my head and the fact that I achieved it literally just you know a month before my birthday is super duper exciting
exciting um, but at the same time it had to be the right house in the right location with the right characteristics and I think this house really did check all of our boxes. My parents thankfully are here to kind of help me and guide me throughout the process. I'm very very thankful to both Mama and Papa Rai. They've obviously bought homes of their own before and my dad actually also has his real estate license in California so there were just a lot of things that I as a first time home buyer would not totally know how to do. <laughs> Having a real estate agent or someone walk you through it, you just need someone to support you throughout the entire process. I'm thinking about making a video just talking about the, all the different steps to buying a house and the important things to make sure that you're not getting ripped off and you know the different kind of contingencies and things like that. So hit that thumbs up and comment it down below if you feel like you would enjoy that video. I feel like a lot of you guys are actually, you know, either in the same age range as me or slightly above, slightly below. We're all kind of going through like the same life things together, which is a ton of fun. This has been such an exciting time in my life. I'm so thankful and so grateful for all of you guys, for my family, for Kevin, for everyone, for, you know, supporting me through this very hectic and stressful process. Hopefully we won't be moving anytime soon in the next many many years I was just thinking about this but you guys have seen my YouTube videos moving from LA to SF from SF to Seattle from Seattle to another partner in Seattle and then now this is the second time we're moving in just Seattle alone so in the past couple years I have moved like five six times and so I am thankful to kind of be able to settle in since this will be my home from now on. Just to say thank you to you guys for all of your support and just in the holiday spirit from me to you guys to say thank you, I wanted to give away a pair of AirPods. So all you have to do is, is to subscribe to this YouTube channel, which hopefully you are already. Give this video a thumbs up. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. And then finally, leave me a comment with your Instagram handle so that I can notify you if you win and tell me when and why you started watching my videos or something or tell me whatever the heck you want to tell me whatever your message to me is I would love to read it so feel free to leave it in the comments along with your Instagram handle I will announce a winner a couple days after this video is posted so I will leave the rules in the description box below okay hope you guys have a good time I have got to finish moving and packing so I'm gonna go help my parents and don't forget you're a 10 out of 10 don't let anyone ever make you feel otherwise and your best is enough bye